Are these games cursed before going to the garage sale, or does having the garage sale cause them to be cursed? Greetings gamers and welcome back to Top 10 Gaming, I'm your host Connor Monroe, and this is a long one so let's keep it short and sweet. That's ironic. Like, comment, and subscribe to Top 10 Gaming for daily gamer content. As you do that, we will get into today's video of the Top 10 Mario Kart Creepypastas. Roll the intro. Number 10, see you next time. This creepypasta comes from American Titan on the Creepypasta fandom page, and is from the point of view of Brad. Brad is a major video game fan, especially for Nintendo, but when his grades started to dip, his parents took away his N64 and hid it in the attic. Eventually, after his grades got up, his parents had forgotten all about the console and told Brad to sell all of his games. He did and life went on, be it slightly more boring. One day, he was visiting his parents and his father asked him to get something from the attic. When he did, he found his old N64. As good as ever, and with a special blue color on it. He went to his local Oogie Games to get his favorite N64 game Mario Kart. The used versions were $32 and Brad took the first one on the shelf. There was a name scrawled on the cartridge in gray marker that said Satan, but not Satan, Satin. It it's weird. But Brad didn't seem to be bothered. He ran home and set up the console to play his favorite game. As he made it to Lab 3 on Rainbow Road in time trials, the music had stopped, the chain chomps were hurling red shells, specifically targeting Brad. Brad went to quit the game, but an odd message appeared, saying, You killed him. There is no way out of this, Brad. As Brad ran to turn off the console, he heard Mario saying, See you next time! As the console turned off, a loud high-pitched screeching sent Brad flying across the room. Instantly killing him. Guess he's uh. Guess there's not a next time. Number 9, The Death Shell. This anonymous user on the Creepypasta fandom page loved every Mario Kart game and was only missing Mario Kart for the DS. But he didn't have the money. There was an event near where the user lived, so he went to go check it out and maybe get some free food, cause I mean honestly. But as they did, they stepped on something. A black Nintendo DS with Mario Kart DS. The user took the DS and the game home, even though the screen had a bit of a crack in the middle. After getting back home, the user threw the game in their DS and started to play. The icon for the game had Mario's face, but with no eyes just holes. He thought it was a glitch, because it always is, right? And started the game. After about a half hour of playing, the user was in 7th place and had gotten a blue shell, the one that destroys friendships. But this one wasn't blue, it was black. Thinking it was an exclusive item to the game, he threw it and it shot straight for Mario at first place. The shell just dove at him, without even circling, and the user heard horrific screams. As they passed Mario, he was laying on the ground with spikes in his chest bleeding slowly. His skin was melted and some of his muscles were exposed. Yikes. Number 8, He Wants. Another unknown user from the Creepypasta fandom page had a friend over to stay the night. After watching some YouTube and TV, they decided to play some Mario Kart Wii. Her friend had brought it over and she had gotten it off of eBay a few days prior. The opening cutscene started, and Mario and Luigi had their car battle, but Mario's eyes were red and looked angry. His steering wheel and gloves were covered in blood. Luigi looked scared, pale, with blood on his face and an open wound. The user and her friend looked at each other in horror. They thought it was hacked and wondered what else could be wrong with the game. When the menu appeared, there was an option for Death Race, and they obviously picked it, and played with 50cc. All of the characters looked sad. Mario had a D instead of an M on his hat, and his gloves were covered in blood. They picked Yoshi, and he had his mouth sewn shut. As they played through the race, all other racers had red eyes, and they stared at the screen, not at the player. They fell off the map, but kept falling, until they were in a white room. Luigi approached and told them that they won, but that someone wanted their throne back. The D on the hat stood for death, and he wants you to die. In the number 7, Lakitu. From user RG83A8 on the Scratch forums, he said that he had gotten Super Mario Kart from GameStop after being challenged by a friend to a race. He was told the game was haunted but chalked it up to some sales tactic. He thought the game belonged to a child because the title had been crossed out and in its place was Tutul Evil, spelled T-U-T-U-L. YVL. They put the game in their SNES and started playing. The title screen said Lakitu and he was hovering at the title screen. Since everything like this is a hack, they kept going. Lakitu had a smile with fangs. In character selection, everyone was crying, even Bowser. The user picked him and went to the track. When Lakitu came out with the lights, the whole crowd of racers yelled, Go away, you're mean! As the player started to drive, Lakitu followed, with an odd grin on his face. He bumped the player into lava and didn't come to save him. You could see Bowser's flesh melting off. Text appeared that said, Now for the others. 
and then the game shut off. Number 6, Luigi's Betrayal. Star Fox Guy 64 from Booksy.com was playing Mario Kart Double Dash that he had gotten earlier that day with his father. He had some odd experiences already, a Luigi controller shutting the power off in the whole house for an hour, and the custom controllers he had gotten with the game, the Luigi one being one of them. He was playing as Mario in the All Cup Tour and had won most of the races except for Rainbow Road. While playing on Rainbow Road, Luigi was the only other racer, and had gotten a giant mushroom. But instead of using it on himself, however, he threw it into the engine of the user's cart, sending them flying into the lava below. Why was there lava under Rainbow Road? Lakitu grabbed Mario out of his cart and brought him back up. Luigi came and picked up Mario. Mario had somehow been stabbed several times. Luigi held him over the side laughing as he got soaked in blood. Luigi let him go and laughed as he fell into the lava. No Lakitu to save him this time. Hopefully I'm saying Lakitu right. Halfway through at number 5, Escape Cup. No game comic from the AminoApps.com website was tired of playing Mario Kart 8 since it had gotten boring. After beating the Star Cup for the 16th time, they got a message saying that they had unlocked the Escape Cup. Excited to try something new, they instantly hopped on the opportunity. The only character they could race with was their me, so they did. Once everything had loaded, they got a message. You have just entered the Escape Cup. You can only get out when you win. First map was Rainbow Road, and the user won. They played and got to the second last map, which looked similar to Luigi's Mansion in a way, giving off similar vibes. Ghost chasing the player, and every time he got caught, he would need to restart at lap 1. He was racing alone, however, so he was always in first. As if the challenge was to complete the map. He did, and made it to the final map, which was a combination of everything he had seen before. It was only one lap, and the ground would break behind you as you went through the race. The console wouldn't turn off this whole time, and it was as if he couldn't move. Like he didn't want to, but he knew he did. He finished the race and he got a message saying congratulations, he managed to escape. And then his console restarted, and the cup was gone. Play through the cup 16 times to see if this is actually a thing. Let me know in the comments. Do it! Number 4, Luigi's Death Stare. Written by Yo Cow, this creepypasta starts when the user finds himself getting Mario Kart 8 early from a website called don'tbuythingsfromthissite.com. Weird marketing tactic. When they got their game, it was Luigi on the cover instead of Mario, and the game was called Luigi Kart 666. The disc was blank and only had the words Luigi Kart 666 on it. Text on screen appeared saying, turn back now, he will get you. The only race was called Hell Cup and consisted of two tracks. The only character he could select was Waluigi, and there was only two racers in the game, the player and Luigi. As the light turned green, the player model switched to that of the player, but sounded like Waluigi. The user tried desperately to stay away from Luigi, but Luigi was gaining. He got hit with a green shell and Luigi gave his signature stare. But after this, the disc stopped reading, and it was broken in half. Getting close to the end at number 3, Mario Kart Wii. Rob Newcomb on the CFTO website had a brother who had just gotten Mario Kart Wii in 2009. They played until the brother had fallen asleep and the mother brought him upstairs and turned off the Wii. Rob turned it back on, but all the colors were inverted. He loaded the game and started a race on his profile. For some reason, he was the only racer, and he was going oddly slow. Mario looked panicked, and when all of a sudden he got spooked like a chihuahua for no reason and started speeding up. Mario ran into a wall and then the screen went white. A message appeared slowly on screen. It said suicide. Rob screamed and tried to turn off the console, but it kept showing along with the crash he had just seen. The next day he was screamed at for breaking the Wii and nobody would believe his story. Now whenever he looks at a Wii, he can only think one thing. Suicide. In at number 2, Kamek Curse. When this unknown user went off to college, they brought their N64 along with Mario Kart. Cause what else are you supposed to do instead of homework? When he got some free time, he booted up the game. When getting to the character selection, Donkey Kong had been replaced by Kamek, but he was only in beta. The user chose Wario and played Mushroom Cup. The Luigi Circus guy was red, and the grass was black. After a reboot, instead of the welcoming Mario Kart screen, he got a horrific picture of Kamek, and a loud screeching noise. His roommate came in to see what the noise was, and the author just said it was the game. The roommate left, looking more shook than he should have been, and in the middle of the night the author heard screaming coming from his roommate's room. He couldn't get in, but the next morning, he wasn't there. He went to class and asked, and apparently his roommate had died way back in 1997 due to a heart attack while playing Mario Kart. Res would not let you have a room with one person in there, even if the other person was supposedly a ghost. Just saying. And finally, in at number one, Mario Kart Black. This story starts off with a 17 year old girl named Sarah explaining her old life and how everything went wrong, especially when her brother died. The Wii console that her brother had gotten came with no games. 
So they got money to go to a local GameStop. When they got there, they looked through all kinds of games, eventually stumbling onto a rated M Mario game called Mario Kart Black. They took the game to the cashier, but he told them to take it for free and then he ran off. They went home and loaded up the game. When it started, there was a black screen with text that said welcome to my world, followed by another that said now we can have some fun racing in hell. Blood splattered on the screen while laughing played in the background. The game only had a single player mode, so the brother took the lead. He selected his only option which was Mario, and later images flashed on the screen, including Mario with bloody eyes. Eventually they lost control of Mario and he drove around a pile of bodies. They found a sign written in blood that said turn back. They kept driving and Mario started screaming. Their brother started screaming as well, and he got a bat and smashed the Wii. But Sarah saw a shadow, the shadow of Mario. He said say hello to suicide and murder. They screamed and Sarah ran out of the room, but watched as Mario slaughtered her brother with his long, sharp claws. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure you hit like and subscribe for more daily gamer content, and ring the bell to get notified when we upload. These were compressed, but I'm sure you'll be able to find the full versions if you look them up. Thank you again for watching. I have been and shall remain Connor Monroe, and I'll see you in another video.